Symbols in Affinity are a fantastic way to save time and work more efficiently, especially if you're going to be repeating certain objects throughout an entire document. So here you can see I have lots of thumbnails and they all have the Affinity logo. Well, if I want to change the logo on all of these artboards in particular, I've got to do whatever I do and then copy and paste it to every single artboard. And what I should have done is set this logo up as a symbol. So first of all, we're going to go to view. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to go to window. It's a good start, Dan. And we're going to go down to vector. And we're going to open up the symbols panel because it's not open by default. So let's go and put this somewhere sensible. And with the object selected that I want to turn into a symbol, I'm going to choose create. And you can see it becomes listed and I can right click. I could give it another name or I can delete the symbol. But if you look in the layers panel, you can see that this app graphic is now all orange and being marked with orange tells us that it's a symbol. So now what I'm going to do is take a second just to copy and paste this new symbol version onto every artboard. So there we go. We now have the symbol version of the app icon on every artboard. Now, if I were using symbols from the very beginning, I wouldn't have had to have done this, but it's fine because this is now going to save us a lot of time. So let's just say we needed to make some changes to this icon. I don't know. Let's just say Adobe acquired Affinity. And now we've got to have a spontaneous rebrand. No more green and black. We've got to switch to red and white. Oh, very spicy, Dan. Well done. What we can do is double click any instance of the symbol. And if we go and make any changes, whether it's changes to the size or changes to the color, let's zoom in and grab that green there. <laughs> Red you go. Uh oh. You can see it's very, very quick and easy to do. And if you do want to take any one instance and detach it from the symbol, so you just like to make it a normal version again, just select that instance and then choose the detach option. And you can see in the layers panel, no more orange. And we can just kind of do whatever we like with this one. And it doesn't affect any of the other ones. So yeah, if you are going to have repeated elements throughout an entire document, I highly recommend using symbols because it's going to save you a ton of time. Also, please God never let this happen.